Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we've got something a little bit different, a little bit special because we're actually going to be talking about Space Jam, a new legacy. I know. Sacrilegious. Yes, LeBron replaced MJ in a brand new version of the Space Jam movie and it wasn't as bad as everybody says, man. It, it just wasn't. I'm sorry. So first things first, I was very young when original Space Jam came out and I was a hardcore, or still am, hardcore MJ fan. So when that movie hit theaters, I was so stoked. I was all for it. I thought that it was the most epic movie of all time, all things considered. You know what I mean? As far as basketball goes, just because that, that, that dude for me is like the upper echelon. He's the GOAT. I loved the original Space Jam movie. When that movie came out and was done, I bought the soundtrack on the cassette tapes, which some of you guys are like, what the hell is that? Don't worry about it. But uh, I bought the soundtrack on that and I would replay that R. Kelly song in the driveway for hours as I was shooting hoops. I know, a little bit weird and taboo nowadays now that you think about things, but that's just what I did and I loved it. Now, the new one came out and my son was super excited, you know what I mean? Like he's just like running around LeBron James the whole time and stuff. And I was just like, okay, man, whatever. Did you see the original? And he was like, the original? And so I was like, bro, you gotta watch the original. It's so good. I put him down in front of the TV. We all sit down. The intro comes on, little MJ, his dad, it's midnight. Who shoots hoops at midnight outside when they're six? Nobody. And so, yeah, there was that thing. I thought it was a little weird. Again, I'm an adult, so it was a little different. But the intro still hit just like it used to. And then the intro intro, where it's like, come on and jam. You know what I mean? And it's all the highlights and stuff. I loved it, man. It was so dope. Then the rest of the movie played out, and I was like, bro, this movie kind of sucks. Like, it was like one of those kind of moments where like I just kind of killed part of my childhood on myself. And then the next day we watched the new one and it was the same thing, it was literally the same thing. There was cool references, there was references to the originals. They elaborated on that by bringing in practically the entire Warner Brothers catalog. You know, LeBron was Robin to Bugs Bunny. There was every version of Batman and Robin and Scooby-Doo and the crew and all that stuff, man. It was dope, dude, it was really fun. So I thought that it was cool. I don't know why everybody's saying it's like a badass movie and everything. You know, it made like 30 something million opening weekend in a pandemic it's pretty good however these movies I don't think that everybody's like up on this maybe maybe they need a little reminder but these movies are not made for us they are made for a very specific type of person I think we all forget that these these movies were made for you right buddy yeah and what did you think about Space Jam a new legacy I loved it you loved it how many times have you watched it already Three times. Three times? Are you serious? When? Um, like every single day. And every morning he wakes up and he plops it on. Now, you did watch the original with my favorite basketball player, Michael Jordan, right? Yeah. And did you like that one more or did you like the new one more? I like the new one more. How come? <laughs> because I like how uh, um, the teams came uh, to real life. Oh, so yeah, that's something that I think is really cool is that back then, when I was your age, we had, is it 2D animation? Is that what it's called? Like regular animation, you know what I mean? And nowadays we have 3D animation and CGI, and that's what they turn these characters into. What was your favorite part about Space Jam A New Legacy? Um, uh, when LeBron hit um, the jumping stand, he hit the visible wall. That was pretty funny. I always like to see a little flop. But uh, yeah, and so I think it's like real interesting that the movies were completely different while being fairly the same. The original was just about MJ and his journey back to basketball. This movie though, it was actually about a father and son, which was really cool and it was fun to experience that with you. And you've been getting into basketball lately. You like it, you like getting buckets, right? Mm -hmm. You like being Kobe, mm -hmm. yeah. So uh, what we have here is something that I really liked when I was little and that was merch. <laughs> So there's LeBron. Here's another LeBron. This one's my favorite. Oh, and you got this skin on Fortnite, don't you? Yeah. And do you like it? Yeah. How many kills have you gotten? Because I think there's like some gold wings that you get when you get kills. Uh, you need 23. Well, 23 hits every single match. Not like 23 hits. You just need to get one hit. And then uh, you uh, do it again every single match. Do you know why it was the number 23? Because LeBron James is a 23. That's right. But he just changed it back to number 6. He did. That would have made it so much easier to get all those kills. Yeah. Now, what did you think about all of these bad guys? We got Kronos. That was Damien. And Lillard, right? Yeah. We had Dame Time, that was super dope. And then we have the White Mamba, right? That was a cool one too. You know that that's a play on Kobe Bryant, right? No. Because Kobe's the Black Mamba. And then we've got Wet Fire, Clay Thompson, he's a warrior. Lola, you like her? Huh? I like Bugs more. <laughs> what? Taz is actually my favorite. We got the Brow, that was Anthony Davis. We've got the uh, the ref in the match, Marvin no, the Martian. No, no, that wasn't the referee. He wasn't the ref? No. What was he? Pete. Pete? The Pete. cat? No! 
one. P um is for guy who um is a uh, guy who challenged LeBron James. He's his friend. Oh, the robot. Yeah. That's right. And what was he? He he, he wasn't part of the Toon Squad, was he? No, but he was part of a movie. Um, when Bob counted the Earth as his uh, planet Earth, mm -hmm. when he put down the Earth stick, then that was for a plan to get everybody back. Spoiler alert. Yeah. <laughs> Now, my favorite part about the movie, here's Bugs right here, it's pretty cool, yeah? Mm -hmm. um, I actually don't know why he's got two jerseys. Did, was he, did he even wear this jersey? He wore the only like, two suits when he wore The Toon Squad one? Yeah. Maybe they just needed a way to sell more toys, right? Look at this, though. They come with the same LeBron figure in every <laughs> package, you know what I mean? Like, that's crazy. But uh, my favorite part of the movie, do you know what it was? The basketball? The basketball was one of them, but this is also a slight spoiler they did a callback as if they were bringing Michael Jordan into the game, right? Oh, Michael B. Jordan. Yeah, and it was the wrong Michael Jordan. It was hecka funny. <laughs> so I thought that it was super cool. This actually has his actual phrases, yeah? Three. One, two, three. Yeah. I also thought it was really interesting that they played up on a lot of the trash talk that like fans give LeBron where like he's like a player coach, it's got to be LeBron's way or no way, you know what I mean? Like it was like all that kind of stuff. I thought it was pretty cool, man. It was very fun, yeah? Mm -hmm. So this is exactly what Space Jam is all about. Not necessarily about, oh my god, that was a great movie. It wasn't. It was just a fun movie. And some movies are fun, like G.I. Joe. I haven't even watched it. It's okay. It wasn't that good either. It wasn't? No. <laughs> And that's all, folks. So yeah, to me, I thought that it was good for what it was. I don't think that it was a Marvel movie or even a DC movie or it wasn't a Christopher Nolan movie. But it was the same director, I believe, as the original, which I thought was dope. The soundtrack to me wasn't as cool as the original, but I'm from a different time. So obviously I like the stuff that I grew up with versus some of this newer stuff. However, Dame actually is featured on one of the tracks, which I think is super cool. But yeah, I almost checked out right in the beginning. That's my one critique of the movie is that it definitely felt like a giant Nike ad for all of the marketing and stuff like that, especially with the lead up because everything was all about the shoes and the products and the jerseys with the LeBron logo and the Nike swoosh on it. And I was just like, man, this thing's going to feel like a freaking Nike ad. And again, spoiler alert, but when he gets tossed into Toontown, he like falls into the earth or whatever. And the mark that he makes, you know, normally it's like an outline of the character or whatever. The outline of LeBron was a giant swoosh. That right there almost pulled me out of the movie. I'm glad that I sat with it though and finished watching it because I did think that the rest of it was fun, especially to share it with my own kid. That's like the best part, right? Like being able to watch the remake of the Ninja Turtles or the remake of the upcoming Masters of the Universe or whatever it is, you know what I mean? G.I. Joe and all of this stuff. These are all properties that I grew up on, so it's cool that we get new versions for the new generation, which is what this whole thing, they literally spelled it out for you in the title of the movie, a new legacy is for different people, and I think that it's great. So is LeBron a great actor? No, was MJ. No, he just wasn't, man. Like, I'm sorry. I even had rose-colored glasses until I watched it again, and I was just like, man, this movie's awful. <laughs> but it was fun. You know what I mean? So uh, yeah, so I think that they are both on par with one another. So uh, yeah, that's pretty much my thoughts on Space Jam, A New Legacy. I love all the merch. I remember when I was a kid, I got the Michael Jordan. The one that I got was the one wearing the literal Concord 11 because they had like the black versions, you know what I mean? The Space Jams and stuff like that, but they were black and silver painted, which I was like, that is not movie accurate. Nerd alert! What? But anyways, that pretty much takes care of it. Thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Let us know what you think about Space Jam, A New Legacy, down below in the comment section. We are not movie reviewers. We don't pretend to be. We just like what we like. We watch what we watch. And we give our thoughts every once in a blue moon when it's applicable to this channel. And I feel like this was one of those. It's basketball and nerd together. But anyways, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. So until next time, guys, have a good one. Can we open them? Yeah. <laughs>